I have been living in my car for about three months without any modifications made to my car because I was lucky enough to have a car that the back seats folded down completely level with the boot area so we didn't need to make a platform or anything in order to put a mattress in and sleep comfortably. However, one thing that a platform does allow that we didn't have before is storage space underneath. So that's what I'm doing today. For your reference, my car is a Jeep Cherokee 2009 and I'm going to be taking out the back seats. So if you have the same car, this might help you. So this is what it looks like with the seats out. I didn't get to film the process of taking them out because it was nighttime, but I'll walk you through how we took it out. You will need to find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bolts to remove. Um, I'd suggest doing all the front ones first and then the back ones. Once you've got all the bolts out, you'll need about two or three people to help lift the seats. It's quite heavy, but it does come out all in one piece. And then you'll need somewhere to store it. So I'll walk you through our design ideas. One thing that we really wanted to maintain was how much headroom we have. It dips down with quite a decent amount of room for storage under here. So we're going to try and utilize that um, as much as possible. What we're planning on doing is nothing fancy, just one thick rectangular sheet of plywood from here level all the way up to the front seats. Probably just gonna have four legs running along this direction here, so all of this space here is completely empty and able to be used for storage space. So I'm just going to measure the height I need for these four legs. So it's about 38, 39 centimeters, so I'll just see what they have at Bunnings and we need to shave it down and then we can do that. We got the wood cut to size, it fits perfectly, and we got four legs. Seems to all be going to plan. Plank is already in the back. I'm just marking out with a pencil and a tape measure where I want to put the legs. These things are what we went with. They're approximately the right size, couple of centimeters longer than what I measured. Um, but I figured that would be okay because there might be some sinking into the carpet when weight is applied. I figure it's just going to be nice and easy. Literally just screws onto the, the wood from the bottom like that. So I've just come back from lunch and we're using an orbital sander to um, just smooth down the corners, make a rounded edge. And then we're going to glue on the carpet squares on the top and then um, it'll all be finished. <laughs> so we've just finished the carpet and it fits in really nicely, just slips in through the boot. Um, nice and simple. It'll probably take a little bit of trial and error to find like a good configuration to put all our stuff underneath, but there is plenty of room. And at the moment we've got all of our stuff, minus my backpack, um, underneath the bed. So that way we can have the bed like available to rest in, sleep in, all throughout the day without having to like convert in a hurry. So I'm really happy with how this turned out. Like I said, the whole goal was just um, extra storage room and I think we've accomplished that very well without losing too much headroom. Because um, I mean, it's only about two centimeters higher than it was before anyway. So 
Um, we could have gone longer without doing this at all, but I think extra storage room really just makes your experience a lot smoother on the road. So highly recommend. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Definitely um, be sure to like and subscribe. It would really mean the world to me. Um, and I will see you next time.